Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. How many of you guys have Dremels out there? I'm sure a lot of you. This is an off-brand that they have here in Thailand. The same thing, same dimension and everything. The same opening here. So as I've been 3D printing some stuff, I decided I wanted to make some tools. I've got the 3D printer. Why not make some tools? So let me show you what I'm making. A lot of times as I make the 3D parts, I need something to clean up some of the bad spots or maybe I want to change the shape of something. So a lot of times I'll use a grinder or use something that's on here, a knife or something to actually, you know, remove some material that I don't need. But a lot of times I have little parts and it's hard to hold this and hold this at the same time. So let me show what I'm making here. This is the base. I've made a drill press for the actual Dremel. So I still, I'm waiting on some bearings right now, but basically the way it works is, is you take your Dremel here, you unscrew the top part off of it, it goes in here. Now you'll have one piece here, there's another piece here that, that holds on, that holds the Dremel in place, and of course it's got a metal rod that comes down through here and this is what actually holds it uh, at the base of the rod here and it rolls on bearings which will be inserted in the center here and it rolls up and down on this part here with your handle so I've got everything about ready I just need to get the metal rod in place so basically it'll be in line just like this and the center of the, the center of the actual Dremel itself lays right in the center here. So, any of you guys that are interested in making a making a Dremel drill press, you can do it right out of PLA like I've done it. You're going to have to order some 16 by 5 by 5 bearings. You'll need uh, five. You'll need six of them. So you'll have two here, one here, one here, and one in the center that the screw goes through and then one here one here and one in the center also and what that does is it actually rides down that 22 millimeter piece of piece of piping that you're putting in place there with the bearing so the detail of the printer I'm using a 10 log TL D3 Pro is the printer that I'm using you can see how detailed the part is So if you, any of you guys are interested in making this, leave comments below and then I'll get back with you and tell you what you'll need to do it with, a supply list of what you'll need to actually do it. You can buy these kits online and Amazon in the U.S. and different countries that have it. But you know, the main thing is, is a lot of times we're working in a small space. You know, we want to try to keep the weight down. Uh, and this is actually a two part. So this is one part. This is the second part here and it's mainly just for the legs. And then on the inside, you can see there's three screws there that actually hold the plate through that are on there. And then with that, when I got through, I actually designed some little legs. This is a hold down. So you can push, or if you wanted to put one here and put three of them together and push it together, or if you wanted to use it where it actually comes down and clamps on the top. So I've got a lower and an upper both that I made. So basically all you have to do is just unscrew the uh, screw from the top. Push the screw. Push it through here. And then in the bottom, just screw this on. That's it. Then it's in place, and you just adjust it. Whether you, you take that much material at all to actually make all of it, uh, it probably took uh, probably took two days of printing to print everything because the base was a lot of material in the base. And uh, you know, slow your print down a little bit. Uh, I believe this this was set at uh, 100 
and then 60 on the heat bed. I dropped it down to 80 just to get more detail in the actual design itself. And I mean, it's like, it's, it's pretty flawless as far as the finish that's on it. It didn't have any damage or anything on any of the parts as it actually printed them. You know, and you wouldn't think that the PLA would be that strong, especially on something like this, but this is actually a taller piece. And because the design is so tall and it is thin, the design, it was designed to where these go together. So you'll see there's a dowel hole here, and then there's a dowel hole here, and then here's the dowel itself that you print, and you just stick it in here, like so, put a little bit of epoxy on the top, and just put them together, and then that's one piece. So with that dowel in place, here, when you put your rod in place behind it where it rolls in here, it's right up against it, it gives it a lot of strength. So there's really no flex in the part at all. It's just an up and down motion on that. But it was a really cool, it was a really cool deal to do. Like I said, I'm waiting on the bearings now. And then it was set up for the for the hex screws that just go through there. And basically they'll go here. So you'll see the where the nut goes there. So you just put your nut in there, your screw in there, and tighten it up there. And that's what actually holds it on that 22 millimeter shaft that you're putting through there. But yeah, so it's a little uh, it's a little drill press. And then I'm going to uh, put a handle on this. This is what you actually pull up and down on when you're when you're working it. And it's a little rough, so I'm going to take and put a uh, a round TPU handle on it where it's round. Where I've got something to grip in through. So that's just a little, you know, some of the little stuff that I make here that I can use in the shop at work uh, when I'm doing the 3D printing. And uh, we've got some other stuff. We've got some uh, center whoops that we designed. We're actually selling these right now in Southeast Asia. And then we have a, a, a CNC machine that cuts uh, carbon fiber. So we have a carbon fiber upper and lower that goes with this kit. And then, of course, we have a, the smaller ones that we've got set up here. These are pretty cool. It's just, it's amazing what you can print out with some of this stuff. And this is 100% this is a, a carbon fiber here, upper and lower plate. So we're making some really cool stuff. But today's video is just kind of about what I've made with, you know, made for the Dremel that I use. Another cool tool uh, for you guys that are that are doing uh, FPV, a lot of times you might have some old props or say you have some props you like that you want to actually, you know, uh, shorten. A lot, I know a lot of them have just cut them down. You know, sometimes they chip, they break. So what we've got here is this is made to cut the prop down. So it's got threads on the inside. You put your grinder on, you take the rim off, which is here, where there's threads. And then it's got threads on the inside, just screw it on, like so. And you see where it's standing on the top. If you look, it's marked for what size prop you want. So in my case, I don't have an FPV prop, I've got a GPS prop, but where the hole is on your prop, uh, for your FPV drone, you take that, or your, your plane, you take that, and you put the screw through it, and you just drop it in the screw hole for the size you need. And as you turn it on and move it, this will actually shave it. And when you're done, you'll be left with a proper inch. So if you want a, you know, a three inch, four inch, five inch, whatever, whatever you have that you want to change it to, you can customize the prop length with this little tool. So if anybody's interested in, in this little tool, leave a comment below and I'll share share the file with you where you can actually make. This is a really cool tool to have because, you know, it does it for you. You just drop the prop through with the screw and twist it and then it'll cut it right off. So these are just little things that I've made to go with the Dremel that I use that we'll use every day in the shop until you can customize the prop length with this little tool. 
So if anybody's interested in, in this little tool, leave a comment below and I'll share share the file with you where you can actually make. This is a really cool tool to have because you know it does it for you. You just drop the prop through with the screw and twist it and then it'll cut it right off. So these are just little things that I've made to go with the Dremel that I use that we'll use every day in the shop. And we make them so we don't have to order them or buy them or anything like that. And I make them here. Uh, I make all my stuff on uh, a product called Tinlog. So, you know, uh, for me, it, it's been a really good printer and it's uh, dual extrusion, extrusion. So I can actually use uh, two filaments in it and I can print out pretty much any, any uh, filament that I want to use, whether I want to use ABS, uh, TPU, PLA, um, wood fill, I mean any of them that I want to use, I can do it right here with the one printer. Uh, the, the nozzle gets hot. You can really adjust the nozzle temperature on this really good. So you can pretty much order whatever you want. I'm not a big fan of the ABS just for the fact that, man, it smells so bad. It's so strong. You need an enclosure for that. But today I'm actually doing some printing on a large project that will be one of my next videos. And I, I think you guys will be really interested in seeing it if you're in drones, FPV, and uh, RC planes. It's, I'm building something very big, and I'm building it out of carbon fiber. So it's a carbon fiber um, uh, PET-G mix together. And it's, it's going to be amazing as I get it done. So you guys, uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave your comments below. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. We're kind of in an enclosed place right now trying to do a little bit of filming. We'll be moving into the new studio next month and into the new house too because the studio is in the house. So it'll be a lot more room to get the cameras and stuff set up for better angles and better lighting for you guys to see what we're actually producing. So we have a, uh, our store here in Thailand that we're actually manufacturing um, drone accessories, you know, third-party parts uh, that we're selling currently here in Thailand. So we want to kind of work on some extra products that we want to have that we'll actually be uh, making and shipping out of Nashville, Tennessee, and Richmond, Virginia, in the U.S., uh, and over into Canada to some customers that we have there. So you guys stay tuned, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.